your disk drive is connected to your PS5 to use your disk drive register it to your PS5. Oh, so press the PS button to use a controller. So I need to register it. Okay. Can't use your disk drive. You need to connect your PS5 to the network to register your disk drive to your PS5. After logging in, go to settings network. Okay. I need to connect to the internet. I'm going to connect it. Use the existing user to log in with your PS account. So first I need to connect with the internet. So go to settings and then network and set up internet connections. So my Wi-Fi connection is found. So I'm going to choose that. I need to provide the password. I'm giving OK. Super. It's connected. You can test the Wi-Fi connections as well. If you want, it should fetch the IP address. It's checking the internet connections, everything is successful, I guess. I need to update the software as well. I think before I log in, right? So I'm going to PlayStation Store. I'm going to sign in. I need to update it. So I'm going to give continue. I'm going to check the view details. So improve system performance. This is the update. Okay, I'm going to give it update. So 1.2 GB. Really, it's very fast. I don't know. It's super fast actually. Restarting your PS5. Updating your disk drive. Registering your disk drive. You can now use your disk drive with your PS5 console. That's it. So without login, you can just use it. A new version of DualSense controller devices software is available. So now I can use the disk drive. Okay. So Blu-ray disk is playable now. I'm going to play. Do not put into wrong way. 